Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Onus Kona from Dubai, where we have Mr. Sibulela Mkwalo, you know, of South African Boxing, National Boxing Organization. You know, Mr. Mkwalo, welcome to the Onus Kona. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, we are here in Dubai and we came for the IBA Congress as well as the Champions Fight Night. We had a Congress earlier today where some, you know, events took place and also we voted for one as a board of directors member and all that. So how has the Congress gone so far? Look, the Congress went well because there were important uh, items that were discussed and the, the, those items were approved by the majority. There were no issues during the Congress. The Congress went smoothly, uh, starting from the, the board member that was uh, 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 elected into the board, uh, to the constitution, to the finances, and everything went smoothly. There was also a vote for inclusion of new members of IBA. Some people also left. Switzerland left, but they have returned. U.S. boxing had left, but now we have USBF. That's U.S. Boxing Federation, headed by the famous boxer Roy Jones Jr., who, have, who were also voted and admitted today as new members. We also had, I think, Netherlands and Germany were voted out, you know. Mm -hmm. So how do you think about the IBA membership and also this world boxing uh, brouhaha that is emerging now? If you look at it, there are... Uh, a, a large number of countries that have been accepted uh, into the, the home of boxing, which is IBA family, and there are few that have been uh, released from the membership. And this simply tells you that uh, IPA is growing. Uh, there may be uh, those challenges that IPA is currently going through, but right now, you can see that uh, the, the ship is not sinking. Instead, it is keeping uh, afloat under the leadership of uh, Honorable uh, Kremlev. So I can safely say that uh, the, 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 the boxing fraternity uh, under the, the umbrella body of IBA is still doing well. And you are the challenges. Okay, thank you very much. You are coming from Africa, South Africa to be said, but you are from Africa. And we just recently voted for our African new president. Mr. Eyas Behani of Ethiopia, he's also here. You know, what has been the reaction to the new African president and also the Africans as a whole? You know, how has the IBA, how are they treating you all and how are we moving forward as a continent? Uh, I can safely say uh, the new president was un unanimously voted uh, by all African uh, countries. Uh, based on his uh, historical background and leadership. And I can tell you that the vision that he has sold uh, to the African countries uh, has been bought by almost uh, all national federations within the continent. And it's now uh, his time and turn uh, to put uh, into practice the strategy and the vision that he has sold. But we've got confidence uh, in him and our role as national federations is just to support him, uh, for him to fulfill uh, his responsibility and mandate. So move, moving forward, how do you see Africans benefiting from AIBA? Tonight like this, we're having the Champions Night. There is no African boxer fighting. How are you now going to position Africa? Even this uh, uh, Champions Night, they are holding it on different continents, but it's yet to come to Africa. You know, what, what do you think Africa must do to get these opportunities or, you know, or what do you have to tell IBA to, you know, put us no. in their plans? What is important is for the African uh, federations uh, to start working on the, on the basics. The basics starts with getting uh, uh, the, the gyms in order in terms of equipping those gyms with the required equipment. If you go... Uh, to many countries and many gyms in those countries, you'll find that uh, they've got skeleton gyms. So we need uh, AIPA, uh, IPA, to assist uh, AFBC in distributing equipment uh, to, to those gyms. Because if you compare a gym uh, uh, in, uh, let's say, in Kenya with the gym in Russia, you'll find mm -hmm. that there is a big difference between the two. 
and you'll find that there is not even a high performance uh, center available in our African countries compared to the competitors. So that, those are the basics that, that I'm talking about. Secondly, it's important for our coaches uh, to be capacitated so that they can uh, assist uh, in grooming uh, our boxers to the required level. And thirdly, the capacitation of our technical officials and also uh, bringing stability to the administration of all uh, national federations. Those are the fundamentals that are critical uh, that will assist us to get to the level where we will feature in the Champions Night, where we will uh, feature in, uh, at the podium of the World uh, Championships. Because at the moment, we are struggling. And we are struggling for a reason, because of lack of resources. So resources and leadership uh, is key. But we've got confidence that through the collaboration between AFPC as well as IPA, we, the, the national federations are going to benefit from that. Because now the plan from the new president is for the national federations uh, to receive uh, financial support directly injected into them and also to receive the, the equipment that is needed to assist the, the, the boxers uh, to prepare them for the major competitions. Okay, so we also understand that South Africa, your country, will be hosting the Africa AF, AFBC Cup, that's the African Boxing Confederation Cup. I, I, I knew it was going to be at as Mandela Cup somewhere October this year, but it was postponed, you know. So there's a new date. Can you confirm for us and how is the competition going to be like? Okay, the, the competition is called uh, Mandela African Boxing Cup, uh, which is going to be held in Deben. Uh, I may not be able to confirm the date. Uh, there was a proposal for it to be hosted on the 21st to the 27th of January 2024. But by the look of things, it looks like that date uh, may change. Uh, but there's nothing confirmed as yet whether we'll keep to that date or it's going to change. But uh, South Africa is ready uh, to deliver that, the project and is ready to receive uh, all the African uh, countries. And what is more exciting about the project is that there is prize money for the boxers and this is an African uh, uh, competition wherein it's only African boxers that are going to benefit from the 500,000 US dollars that has been uh, uh, put by the IPA president as the, as the cash prize that will be distributed uh, to all uh, the boxers. So we see a, a number of benefits from this project which is going to benefit not only the host but which is going to benefit all the participating countries through uh, uh, getting into the podium uh, level. That was good to hear that Afghan fighters have a $500,000 pool to win from in one tournament. Mm -hmm. So finally, so it means Iba you are saying is doing well for you but there is a threat from world boxing trying to you know, get some of the organization. Even in Africa, we've, we've had Nigeria, you know, debating among themselves. They went to the World Boxing Congress and all that. Mm -hmm. So what advice, or what do you think, is World Boxing a threat to IBA? And what would you tell the other countries who are joining World Boxing? You know, what would you tell them? Look, what is important for us to understand is that IBA is an old organization. Uh, it is well rooted. Uh, and it is not easy to shake it. Uh, the world boxing is, is, is an infant, and you can't say uh, it is going to grow or not going to grow, but all I could say is that it is not a wise choice for any national federation uh, to join a, feder a federation, an international federation that has not yet been recognized by anybody because the world boxing uh, uh, federation is not recognized as we speak uh, right now. And you can then say you leave a, a recognized body for a rock uh, federation. So it's important for us uh, to, to, encourage, and to encourage national federations to stay within IPA. And there are a number of reforms and uh, new developments that IPA has introduced uh, into its operations. And many countries are benefiting uh, uh, in various forms through the financial support from IPA and other means. And I can safely say uh, it's better to stay with what you know 
uh, than to move to something that may not uh, assist your country because this is about our countries and it's about the pride of our countries or pride, honor and glory of our country. So it's important for, for us to protect uh, the, the, the image of our countries without associating, by not associating ourselves with structures that are not recognized because we represent a, a, a fully fledged national federation. Okay, thank you very much. But finally, before you go, you know, what do you think the future looks for African boxing? I can claim that the future looks bright, uh, bright because uh, there is now stability within the national federations. There is also stability uh, within uh, the AFBC. And what is now important is for the AFBC board uh, to source uh, funding, not only from I IPA, but to source funding from different uh, sectors, uh, the corporate sector to be precise, uh, for the rolling out of tournaments. Because what is lacking and what is a big challenge for AFBC or for the continent is the absence or lack of programs that are continuous in nature. And through uh, sponsorship, uh, Africa uh, would be a better place uh, for the boxers and all uh, uh, boxing uh, uh, members. And therefore, the, 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 the future looks bright, my brother, because uh, everything so far is going uh, well and according to, to the book. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mkwalo, and hopefully we'll see you on Donu's Corner again. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, I committed to that appointment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you.